My name is Brent Stabener and I'm a consultant with Logan Consulting. In today's video, I will be showing you how to reconcile inventory to the GA. With the release of Dynamics GP 2013 came a great feature for the inventory module. In Dynamics GP, users now have the ability to reconcile inventory to the general ledger using the Reconcile to GL window. To open that window, go to Financial, Routines, Financial, Reconcile to GL. The Reconcile to GL window is used to generate an Excel spreadsheet that can help users match transactions in General Ledger with the original transactions in payables, receivables, inventory, and banking modules. The Reconcile routine will not change data automatically, but helps you identify those transactions that may need to be corrected. Benefits include uh, the fact that transactions from inventory are matched with general ledger distributions using the journal entry, transaction source code, document number, posting date, and extended cost amount. Transactions are separated into three sections, unmatched, potentially matched, and matched. The first two sections are the most likely place to find reconciliation differences. So once you have opened the reconcile to GL window, a number right here and a date which is using the system date that you have here, are assigned. Um, your next step is to select the range of dates that you would like to reconcile. So we're in April 12, 2017. I'm going to pretend like I'm, uh, I'm reconciling the month before, from March 1st to March 31st. Um, then next, we're going to choose the inventory module. As you can see, payables, receivables, and bank are also there. On the right here, we're going to select the inventory account. Now, sometimes you may have more than one, and you can definitely do that. Um, I am just going to do it for one account, just as an example. Lastly, you're going to select an output file and where you're going to save it. So I like to save it to my desktop because that's easy. And I use the same naming convention they use, but you can also change it. Um, click Process and that'll create your Excel file. And you can't see that now, but it opened up the Excel file right here. Um, once you open the file, um, you'll see here there are beginning balances for each uh, side, the right side being the general ledger, the left side being the inventory. If you scroll to the bottom, it even gives you a nice more detailed breakdown, beginning balance, ending balance, and then um, the, different, the difference between the two beginning balances and the difference between the two ending balances. Um, you'll see mine are off because I only included one inventory account. And then we have the three sections, unmatched, potentially matched, and matched. And most likely your, un, your reconciliation differences will come from unmatched and potentially matched. For more information, please visit our website at www.loganconsulting.com or contact us via email at info at loganconsulting.com or via phone at 312-345-8800.